the topic of today's video is ring flip of chair conformation of cyclohexane at the end of this video you will be able to draw visualize and understand the ring flip of cyclohexane in my previous video i have discussed chair conformation of cyclohexane I have drawn this chair conformation here to save the time. Uh, this portion of uh, this form is the headrest, this is for the body and this is the uh, footrest part of this chair. Six carbons are named and here we can see that the axial uh, bonds are shown in red color whereas equatorial bonds are shown in the uh, green color. The carbon number 1 3 and 5 they are upper carbons and making the upper plane whereas carbon numbers 2, 4 and 6 they are uh, lower carbons and making the lower plane. Out of 6 axial bonds 3 are shown upward and uh, uh, 3 are shown downward whereas uh, axial bonds uh, sorry equatorial bonds are also, also shown respectively. Actually, structure of cyclohexane is uh, quite dynamic in the sense that uh, it is able to interconvert from uh, one form of chair conformer which is quite which is stable uh, to another form of uh, chair conformer which is equally stable. This interconversion of form 1 of uh, chair conformer to the form 2 is known as ring flip. It happens due to the ease of rotation about its carbon to carbon single bond. Now let me tell you how to draw this interconversion. Now what happens actually as I have told you earlier this headrest is converted to the footrest and this footrest is converted to headrest. So to convert this headrest to footrest uh, what we should do we should push this carbon number 1 down. So, for carbon 1 it should be push down to make it footrest and to make this carbon number 4 headrest it should be pulled up. So, pull the carbon number 4 up to make it headrest. I will first draw these two parallel lines. So, here we can see. So, this point is carbon number 1 after pushing it down and then carbon number 4 this is carbon 4 and it is pulled up. So, here you can see that now carbon 1 it has become footrest and carbon 4 has become headrest. Now, here I have mentioned the carbon numbers uh, it can be observed that uh, in our previous form carbon 1, 3 and 5 they were making the upper plane. Now, carbon 1, 3 and 5 they are making the lower plane whereas carbon number 2, 4 and 6 they are making upper plane. Now, second most interesting and important point to be noticed is all those bonds which were axial in case of this form they have become equatorial in second form whereas all those bonds which were uh, equatorial in form 1 they will become axial in form 2. So, here I will draw first axial bonds as uh, equatorial have become axial. So, I will use green color 1, 2 and 3 upper carbons 1, 2 and 3 lower carbons. As axial bonds in previous form have become equatorial. So, I will use this red color
for students it's hard to understand especially this interconversion that axial have become equatorial and equatorial have become axial to solve this problem i will use this molecular model uh, here this is the structure of cyclohexane this is the uh, chair conformation and uh, green colors um, are showing the axial bonds whereas white are the equatorials so they are uh, six uh, white equatorials which are radiating outward whereas uh, greens are the axial three upward and three downward and this is the chair form uh, headrest body part and this is the footrest now uh, how this interconversion happen so be very watchful first what i am going to do i am going to uh, pull this carbon number 4 up this is carbon 1 and this one is the carbon 4 carbon uh, 1 is upward whereas carbon 4 is downward uh, and it is uh, making the uh, footrest part and carbon 1 is making the headrest part i am going to pull this carbon number 4 up and uh, uh, because of this pull uh, you will notice its two neighbor carbons their position and uh, uh, you will also notice that how these two axial uh, hydrogens will become equatorial and this white equatorial will become axial. So, here I am going to pull it up like this. So you can see that white has become axial and these two greens have moved away and they have changed from axial position to equatorial position. Now notice that pulling this carbon number 4 up, 3 hydrogens have taken the position of uh, equatorial whereas 3 uh, white hydrogens have become axial. This is carbon number 1. I am going to push it down and while pushing it down you will notice its two neighbor carbons and uh, at the moment this is the axial hydrogen and uh, these two whites are equatorial and you see that I am pushing it down and this green is taking the position of axial. Whereas these two whites are taking the position of equatorial. Now all those hydrogens which were uh, axial in form 1 now they have become equatorial and all whites which were uh, equatorial in first form have become axial. So this is the new chair form like this. Now this carbon number 4 have become the headrest and then this is the body and carbon number 1 has become the footrest. Actually this flipping or this interconversion of form 1 to form 2 is uh, very rapid in case of cyclohexane but I have shown it uh, slowly so that you can understand it better. Uh, it is quite rapidly converted from one form to another and the reason is that its activation energy is only 42 kilojoules of energy which can be achieved even at room temperature. So this interconversion happens at room temperature. So both these forms are equally stable having least strain. I hope you people have uh, understood this concept and uh, now you are able to draw, visualize and understand the ring flipping of cyclohexane. Thank you.